We're at the International Builder Show. This is the new American remodel home. Let's go outside. Come on. Okay, you're going to love this. Look at this. Check out this feature. Brick oven pizza in your own house. What do you see millennials looking for? Millennials, they're looking for smart technology, for one thing. Kitchens are very important to them. You know, it, it just kind of goes with, with the lifestyle. This is just amazing. This is unbelievable. Let's go outside. Come on. So this is actually a home. We've got early access. We're on the press tour of the new American remodel home. Check this out. This is just amazing. This is unbelievable. We've got the fire here, the pool. How, are you enjoying this so far? I am loving it. What, who are you with? I write a design feature that's syndicated to, to, to 150 newspapers all over the country. Awesome. And I write for design magazines like uh, Modern Luxury Interiors. I do cover kitchen and bath a lot, and, and so I go to the international shows as well. Okay. So I was at Salone del Mobile in Milan in April. So I saw a lot of uh, a lot of uh, kitchen and bath trends. So I'm anxious to see how they will translate here. And of course, there are some manufacturers that overlap those shows, like Gagano is one, for example, that has a big presence in Milan. However, that said, what's interesting is that they chose to do their introduction at Cabus last year rather than than Milan, which is huge, because they're an, a European-based manufacturer. And they decided that this show was was more important for them to do the introduction. Where can we read some of your articles? Um, well, the syndicated ones are kind of all over. I don't know if there's any in the Las Vegas area. I know I appear in Tucson, <laughs> in the Desert Leaf. Uh, I know I'm I'm in the usually in the Orange County Register. I mean, there are some West Coast publications that are all over the all over the U.S. And then I'm writing about the show for a trade publication online subscription based called the trend curve trend curve is that curve. is it the trend curve.com or how do we connect the trend curve.com right, let's check it out the trend curve.com let's go upstairs let's go check this out okay you're gonna love this look at this check out this feature watch this brick oven pizza in your own house it's a hearthstone outdoor. Let's check that out. What, what do you see millennials looking for? Millennials, it, it's kind of hard, hard to say, but I mean, they're looking for smart technology for one thing. That's really important to them. Um, I, they're not looking for huge homes. And I don't know in terms of square footage, I really haven't read enough research on, on that demographic to, to be able to, to tell you. But... Um, you know, it, it just kind of goes with, with the lifestyle. Kitchens are very important to them. Um, you know. What about, you were mentioning this furniture here. Yeah. Talk to us about that. So the furniture here, this is very typical of what we're seeing in, in Europe with a lot of, you know, there's sectional. The whole outdoor living concept has changed dramatically in the last few years. And now there's much more of a seamless transition from outdoor to in. And, and also you will find that the style of furniture is gonna match the style inside much more than it ever did before. Because it's, you know, both in colors and shapes, um, you know, the modernity of this, you know. They're also lower. They are lower. Yeah, that, again, that goes to the modern style. You know, minimalist kind of theme. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's go check out like around the different parts of the home too. Come around here. You got to come over here. Let's see what these are. 